Hello everyone, welcome to Create with Julie. This video is the second part of a linen and storage closet update that I posted two weeks ago. This is a little just a before, how was the closet? And this is the board that I've created for uh, I can picture what I want to have in my closet, the walls, the floors, shelf, basket, of course, the color black. I'm going to be using this pre-cut wood uh, for brackets for my shelf. I'm going to be adding four shelves in this closet and I'm just going to be pre-drilling out the hole so it makes it easier for me to attach it to the wall. I'm going to be putting uh, three screws in each uh, wood. So now I'm just trying to prepare all the wood that I will need for my shelf and don't worry I have something in the bottle so, I, so I'm gonna drill um, my floors and it makes it easier um, just to prepare everything and get everything ready before I attach everything on the walls. Now it's time to start attaching my wood to the wall so I can uh, start putting my shelf. I already measured my baskets, the height that I wanted, so that will depend on what size of basket you're going to be putting or anything or what size of things that you want to put it so you will measure your space. So here I'm just attaching the first uh, wood and I'm just so excited. I want to just see everything finished. So everything's good. I did struggle a little bit um, adding this shell because I was trying to do it myself. But thanks God, my husband came back from his job and he started helping me to hold this shell. So it makes it easy for it um, to attach. So definitely is a job that needs two persons so um it's much much easier like that and who said women cannot use tools definitely we can we can do anything that we try to do Hello everyone, today is time to organize our glasses. I already showed you how we update this closet, but today is going to be the time to organize and to see what items I'm going to use it to try to keep it organized. So let's get started. Baskets I got it on Target. They were $8 each. So I'm just gonna be playing around, moving things around and see um, how it will look better. And the second item that we're gonna be using are these storage bins. 
they do have new leads. I got them on Amazon. Um, I will link down below. I don't really remember how much I bought them, but I bought them actually a long time ago when I was planning to do this update. Um, and these are the ones I'm going to be getting. And another thing that I find is this huge, huge basket. Uh, this huge basket. I find it on the thrift store. I got it for $7.99. As you guys can see, I already arranged uh, some things and baskets already in the shelf. But I'm just going to keep moving things around and see which one will work better for us. So I think one of the main things in organizing is just moving things around and see at the end which one will work better for you. I really like these things uh, that I got on Amazon. They have leads so it makes it easier uh, to put one on top of the other one. And I'm gonna be storing here um, bedding sheets for our beds. I don't know you guys, how many bedding sheets you guys have in your house? I used to get them uh, every time that I went to the store and they were special. But now I declutter my closet and I only have one pair of sheets for each bed. So if it's any emergency happen, I have one extra for the beds. Um, so let me know down below how many you guys have. I'm really curious now to see how many bedding sheets you guys have. Since I don't have any matching towels, I have a rainbow towels. I'm gonna be hiding them in this big basket. It's gonna look more organized and more neat and I'm not gonna have a rainbow closet. In this IKEA box, I am saving my kids' pictures. It's always to have a good memories. Also, I'm gonna be adding here my printer. I don't have another space to have it, but I think it is really good here. It looks really nice. It is black, so it match in the closet. And it's easier to have it here since the kids can just print it out and even my little kid, my little boy can reach it. Hello everyone, and finally the closet is done. 
it's been done since last week i know last week i was supposed to post a video of the closet but i was a little bit busy doing some decluttering some stuff here at the house so i did take a little bit of break but today i am going to show you uh, how i did organize my closet it is lovely i love it um i just love it it feels so good to have something organized and even my hallway is clean doesn't have anything around so we're gonna try to keep it like that still had to paint um the walls right here i just paint a little bit of the corner over there because i uh we built an ikea closet over there for extra storage for school supplies for my supplies um and and it will be easier for the kids to have all the stuff there that they needed papers and glue and all the things let's just remember how was my closet before And this is my closet. I am really happy with this floor. I really, really like it. They're comfortable. And I'm just gonna be showing you a little bit what I have here in this closet that basket um we i bought it on the thrift store a couple of years ago and i fixed it and i still use it i love it every time that we go to picnic i love to take it i have um, my box of pictures there i got extra glue over there for slime when the kids want to play i have it over there because um when they need it they will ask me just to get it or my older son can get it for them um I got some uh, bathroom curtains over there and some sheets. This one here, I like, uh, love to use it more, so I have it closer to me. I used to have another one over here, but that one, we only use it for uh, more for winter. We don't usually take them out for now, so uh, I just put it in another, in my closet, in my bedroom but just a really deep place that I'm going to be needing it for a little while until I need it. I'm going to have some toilet paper there. I have my sewing machine there. I got some blankets here. That one's still empty because I had to be moving some blankets um, from the kids' room here. I got my hammock there, but I have to be putting some stuff there. I got my sheets, kids' sheets and i did put my printer here it's easier but i don't have another space to put it but this one works really well and it's low so my kids can get it even my little one i got the kids nebulizer machine there i got actually another one over there i have two you know i had three kids so it's better to have more than one um i got my basket here that I told you that I got it in the thrift store for $7.99 and I got all my towels there. In that basket, I have some supplies that I needed because I had to keep working here like brushes, hammers, nails, anything that I needed uh, for working here in the house still have there, some extra shelves, things like that. And the bottom one, I have still some things that I need to declutter and see which one I'm going to keep and which one I'm going to use it. I have my TV here for my kids when they want to play that back, but I have to bring it to the church. And over there, I have some frames and some woods and some wall parts that I'm going to be doing DIY, extra paint, compound. Still have them here because I still have to use it for a couple of things. I did switch my switch lights black. I'm trying to do that all over the house. And I think the thing looks really nice. And yes, this is the closet I really love. I love how organized it is. I know exactly where things are. I was thinking to put like a little V 
sign over here. I'm not sure yet, but it will be easier if I ask the kids or my husband to get something. If I have signs, it will be easier just to put master bedroom sheets or kids sheets. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's too much. But I really, really love, I still have to paint the rest of the walls here. There's my bedroom, the windows still working pretty good love them um i can paint these walls and fix the rest of the and i have to remove all of this so i can paint i have the little thing so i can have the jacket on the winter and that's a little corner that i paint uh, so i can put that bookshelf over there there's actually two pieces and we just stuck another one and then we just um, put some attachments on the side and on the back so it can be secure and the other thing that I did change was I did paint this on black um, and I also paint my stairs I have still some things that I had to bring in downstairs but I did paint my stairs and I loving how it look I did I do have to do some retouch because I did not put the cover that I had to put it uh, as soon as that I'm done painting. So it was coming out. So I just had to fix that. But I really, really love the way that it looks. My stairs. I did add a little bit, a little plant right there. I love her. She looks so pretty. And this is the closet that, I, that we add so we can have an extra storage i still oops i still need to organize it a little bit better but it is much better i need to buy some boxes so i can change some things and i can declutter some things some things may have to go to the garbage and or donation and yeah and there is my paints brushes games for the kids and our supplies so this was much better for us to have things here for my kids and this is the walls that I have to be painting I'm really really happy and excited to keep updating things in this house Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this type of video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and mark the uh, bell so you don't miss any notifications. And don't forget to share. I see you in the next video.